Hey guys, welcome to the Men's Screaming Advice. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe for new videos every single week. So, um, with the UK in lockdown and working lots and lots of hours, what I eventually ended up doing is just letting a bit of a beard grow. Because um, I'm 54 years old, um, I'm very lucky that my head hair stays nice and dark brown. You know, I mean, this isn't dyed, this is, this is just me. But if you look at my, if I can close up here, the camera can pick it up. Hmm, see, definitely got some gray there. Definitely got, in fact, the more I look at it, the more grey I see, which is really, really, really depressing. So that's got to go. So what I've done is I bought myself this, the um, Just For Men Mustache and Beard Kit. Now I read several reviews which said that one of the things you must do with these is you want to buy a shade at least one shade lighter than your actual hair. So um, obviously you can see here that um, most people would say my hair is, is very dark brown. Um, but if you look at the lid here, that's nowhere even close. But this is their next one down from brown. This is the medium brown, M35. So this is the one that I've read online is most suitable for someone with dark hair. So I, I don't know why you have a picture like that um, to get a beard that matches here when they're so obviously different but we'll see let's go to the bathroom and see what happens straight out of the box you get two tubes one of which is the color the second tube is the developer so almost like a bleach small plastic brush with very very stiff bristles little plastic tray to actually mix your gook in. In actual fact it shows you on the tray there are two little plastic, I don't know if you can see that, but two little plastic pictures of um, the different tubes you're going to use. And the important thing is you want to put the same amount on one line and then next to it the same amount of the other. So always use the same amount of the developer as you do with the dye. Then you want to mix it with the end of the, the actual brush. So guys, in a previous video, I shaved my beard, just trimmed it off using my new uh, Remington beard shaver, which uh, beard clipper, which I was very impressed with. If you haven't seen the video for this, I'll try and remember to leave a link up above. Now this time, it's trying to time to deal with this gray because before I trimmed it, there was definitely some patches of gray. Now I've trimmed it, it's probably 50% grey. I may well have to make up a bit more, but I just want to take it step by step. So I've got a glump at the end there. So my two grey, most noticeably grey areas are here. So I'll just, I'll just literally just use those as a place to wipe off. So now it's time to work into the beard. So starting with the, the greyest, so it gets the longest time to develop. So stiff brushes and literally work it into the beard. Turn it around, take the other way around. This stuff, as I say, will stain anything it touches. So be a little bit careful. Don't go hammering at it because you'll spray little bits of it everywhere, which you won't notice until it's too late. This will stain the skin, so you have to be very careful it goes where you want it to go. So, um, what you can use is one of these, um, you know, these um, beard angle things, the plastic things that go on the side of your head. I have got one of those, but to be honest, short of sellotaping it to my head, there's no real way I can hold it in place. Same thing on the other side. It is surprisingly difficult to do this when you're trying to look over the top of a camera see what you're doing and at the same time keep checking the camera to make sure you're actually on screen. Instructions say to leave this on for five minutes. I've found that not to be long enough so I will leave mine on for ten minutes. 
I mean, come on, guys. Yeah, we're guys. We we don't read the instructions, and if we read, even if we read the instructions, we usually decide that we probably know better anyway. And to ensure that it's all fairly uniform, I mean, my I don't tend to have any grey in my moustache area, but I will add a little bit of this as in there as well. So there we see. So I've covered the whole beard area. I have my beard shaved high up. The reason for that is because I'm a bit older rounder face and that sort of thing, then by having a higher neckline, I think it just gives me a sharper edge to the jaw. That is literally just a few minutes work. Really, really simple. Now I'm gonna go and set the timer for 10 minutes, come back and see what's happening. So 10 minutes is up. As you can see, it's now very noticeably dark. You can actually see the lines I've followed with the dye, now it's time to wash it out. What they suggest is rather than using a face wash is that you should use a shampoo because the shampoo is gentler and does, is not likely to strip the dye out. I'm not going to use a shampoo, the reason being is I'm gonna be using my current favorite cleanser which is the Claire's Rich Foaming, um, Rich Moist Foaming Cleanser. Incredibly, incredibly light, very, very gentle, uh, and I think that's going to be perfect for taking this beard off. So, time to wet the beard. Wet the beard. Some of this foaming cleanser, which is literally a foaming cleanser. Okay. Remember, I extended it up into the hairline, so we need to wash into the hairline as well. Now, the thing to remember as well is that this will be darker to begin with and it will settle down over the next sort of six, eight hours. So if it's the first time you're dyeing your, your beard, you know, and you're noticeably grey like I was and it's the first time to dye it, what you might want to do is you might want to do it at night before going to bed and it's just eased down a little bit more. But what do you think? Grey's gone. Yeah, I'm a bit patchy there, but that's because I'm old. So there are products you can get. I think people use mascara and stuff like that to, to sort of fill in these gaps. I'm, I'm not really bothered about that sort of thing. I just didn't want to be grey. So now, no longer grey. So all in all, I'd say got rid of the grey. Looks better. I'm pleased with that. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to hit like, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already for new videos every single week. I've been Bear Clark, you've been amazing, and I'll see you again real soon.